James can tell us, is the Labor mess over gas, coal, Joel Fitzgibbon, the Greens left wing of the Labor Party, uh, that war that's going on, which, which, which did so much damage to Labor at the federal election in Queensland, is that issue resonating in the state election? What, what's happening in the state election is it's reminding the voters that the Labor Party has left them behind. That the modern Labor Party uh, is a party of the left. It's no longer a party of, of the blue-collared worker. When you look at the, the seats across Queensland and you look at those communities, those those whether they're FIFOs or they're, they're DIDOs, they're drive-in, drive-out, <laughs> that, that who is standing up for them? Well, Play it's the Liberal fast, National fast. Party. It, it's not. It's not the. <laughs> It's not the Labor Party. So it's reminding them that this Labor Party has moved on. Uh, and, and the issue we're facing in Queensland is is that Palaszczuk is still playing the border wars. She's doing everything possible to, to use as an alibi for her economic incompetence. Do you know they're actually borrowing money now? Tim Manda confirmed today they're borrowing money, this is the Labor Party, yep. to pay the wages of public servants. Well, this and remember, full-time jobs... Full-time jobs in Queensland are 178. That's all they produced in the last month. 38,000 full-time jobs are 178. Fair income. 